No. <laughs> okay, so hi, we got interrupted. So this is part B. Thank you so much for letting me know. This is part B. And um, Finn opened up Tin Soldier on original 16 millimeter film, which is a Hans Christian Andersen film. Win? And you, you won big time. This is a really cool film Yay. that I will be showing at the speakeasy. So oh when I showed God. this film, you could say you're the one who opened this, which is cooler than anything. Where is this and um, I do it in Soho usually, although I travel around the country. Yeah, because prohibition now, isn't a thing. <laughs> I know, exactly. It's a speakeasy because we're hiding from my parents more than we're hiding from the cops. <laughs> uh, uh, hold on, let me open this better because I can't see it. Uh, I think it's also film. <laughs> this is also film. Yes, I'm right. I win You're again. absolutely right. These are on a uh, core instead of a reel, which is a different way of holding film, but it's still film. Hmm. And you opened up... Uh, what is this? I can't tell. Oh, uh, Frankie Lane, the singer. Oh, and no one in the room knows him, right? You know Frank. You know, I learned about him at, at Statue of Liberty Ellis Island from the from from Stephen Briganti, the owner, the the CEO of Statue of Liberty. So Stephen, I bought this because you told me when I was DJing at Statue of Liberty during Christmas. DJ? To, yeah, I would, I would, you know, we were doing the Christmas rush, and I wanted to entertain the soldiers, everyone working so hard, these 20-hour shifts. So I brought in an old-fashioned Victrola, and I, and I was a DJ on, like, seven radio stations. So I brought in records having to do with everybody's style. And then Steve, I go to Steve, the owner, what do you like? And he goes, Frankie Lane. I'm like, who's Frankie Lane? I don't have any Fra I have Beatles. Do you like the Beatles? I'll bring Beatles. But uh, for him... I had Frankie Lane records flown in immediately so that I could play them for Christmas in time for Christmas. Good. And I DJed Frankie Lane. And then I saw this and I'm like, I'm going to get some 16 millimeter films. And out of everyone in the room, the one person who knows Frankie Lane opens the Frankie Lane. <laughs> so Stephen Briganti, you should be very proud. You've influenced me to buy Frankie Lane and a person who actually knows it, Frankie Lane. He was very famous. He had a TV show and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I've got, I've got, this is clips from the TV show. So this is, that's really cool for you to open. You. And this is the song, I'm Going to Live Forever, I Believe, and oh. Roll On. So that's perfect. <laughs> that's yeah, your family's happy about it. And everyone who opens a package, it tends to be a coincidence or ironic to their personality. That's why I do this, because it's so almost magical. My daughter, my daughter so that is says amazing. I need to be what does mine say about my personality? Tin Soldier. I think that's perfect for Finn. No. Don't you, Hans Kristen no. Anderson and Tin Soldier? No. I like that. Actually, that kind of works. No. And you opened up something very important for your <laughs> family uh, and for your heritage. He is so confused. This is the New Belongin. Oh, yeah. So this is because of my college education. I wanted to get, it's a DVD, a little more modern than what I usually get. But I couldn't uh, uh, get anything what, else. But this is, is the Nubalum, which is these old, you know, those Celtic Teutonic tales I was talking about, like Tristan and Isolde. This is one of those tales that influenced me when I was at NYU to make this entire okay. museum. Uh, so that's a really, and like I said, it's part of, you know, that whole culture of it. Thank you so much. We're going to say goodbye to this. Yes.